Welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Demir Control. We're going to be playing this in Ranked, uh, in Mythic. Uh, we'll be trying it out there. So basically what we have here is we have a two-color control deck where I wanted I wanted to try to find a home for the Immortal Sun. That's that's kind of the, the main... Um, that's like the main thing that I'm doing here is I want to find a home for the Immortal Sun because there are just so many Planeswalkers around these days. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll change that Gatsby here. Um, there's just so many Planeswalkers around these days. And all right, Hawkeye, you're going to have to move. And I think Immortal Sun could just be a really good card to help shut them all down. Uh, some decks are just really weak to really weak to the Immortal Sun. Um, so basically what we got here to go along with it is we have our normal control elements. We got a few sweepers with Cry of the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot. I think Enter the God Eternals is just an awesome, awesome card. So got uh, some of those. Sorry, I have to change the stream title. Just really good against, um, really good against aggro, of course. And it works really well with Kefnet. Correct. This does not shut down. Correct. It doesn't shut down passive abilities, but I mean, we still have like removal and everything like that. It's okay that if they just have like, they're just playing their planeswalkers as like enchantments, you know, we'll be able to take over eventually. Kefnet's are our main win con. Uh, this is just a really hard card to deal with unless you're countering it or making or having it get discarded. It's just awesome and it works really well with having all these spells. So we don't we we're not playing like a Kefnet deck that's filled with planeswalkers that you can't reveal, of course, because of the two immortal suns. Um, Kefnet works really good with dispersal of like having dispersal be a three mana card instead of a five mana card. So I like it there. And since we're since we're not going planeswalkers, we still want some card advantage. And so I'm going disinformation campaign. I kind of like where disinformation campaign is right now because unlike Thief of Sanity where you play it and then Little Teferi bounces it kind of thing. Campaign is not weak against the Little Teferi. You get to just play it and make them discard a card you draw. Um, it's just It just goes well with uh, kind of helping us hit our land drops to be able to get to God Eternals and Immortal Sun and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I haven't played this deck too much yet. Uh, let's kind of give it a try. We have a whole lot of things. I do have Mass Manipulations in the sideboard too. That may not be necessary. Maybe these maybe these are better off as other things, but I also have those as for some more Planeswalker hate. Obviously, if we have Immortal Sun in play, then Mass Manipulation isn't going to be the best, but that doesn't mean, you know, if we have Immortal Sun, we should already be doing just fine, though. Anyway. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and, and uh, give this give this a try. So we go into ranked with Demir Control. Oh, I didn't I didn't update my deckless command. I gotta do that. Let me do that too. <clears throat> There's a couple things I didn't quite take care of before we started this recording here. Yeah, manipulation can just be awesome in some matchups, though. So I just wanted more powerful cards that can be awesome. All right, deckless command updated. Clarion, Lightning Strike, and Sarkin. So I don't care about Clarion. Don't care too much about Lightning Strike either. Let's just take the Sarkin for now. And yes. This looks like Jeskai Planeswalker Control. Immortal Sun should be awesome here.
Could have cast Discovery. Could also just wait, though. That's like their only red land that casts like these things. Uh, let's put the camera down a little bit whenever Hawkeye's here. All right, they got the little Teferi. Cards are real good. Let's try this. Hmm. Let's hope we draw the sixth land here from Immortal Sun. Maybe I should be casting Discovery this turn instead of Kefnet. I mean, casting Discovery gives me the safest way to actually play Immortal Sun next turn. No. I don't I think our opponent has this Kanta at all. I, I don't think. Oh, whoops, I meant to hit reveal. I always reveal. What's up, Sculpted Mind? Well, this is a little bit different deck than I was thinking it was. Wow, they got a lot of counter magic. But, I mean, I love those spells getting countered, as long as this doesn't. This is hardly my worst defeat. I should have revealed for good luck. Always reveal. Alright, they have one card left. Really hope it's not a counter spell. Hooray! Yeah. And concede any time. Go ahead. Can't use any Teferis to get rid of that thing. There's the concession. Why always reveal? Because it's good luck. See, we revealed, and then and then our opponent conceded. All right, I want all these duresses, elder spells, negates. Sure, mass manipulation. Why not? Another immortal sun. Taking out cast down moment, cry. Ritual, Tyrant Scorn. It's possible they play like cheap creatures and then I'll feel bad. I guess I have all these. All this Contempt. Got all these Enter the God Eternals I don't want as much. What kind of early cre- like are they gonna have Legion War Boss? The deck list that's in there, Smith, that's up on my stream decker is the list that we played for the Tron deck. They're going to have Legion War Boss. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like Carnarium's pretty useful. I'll, I'll just play two Carnarium instead of the Enter the God Eternals. Reasonable hand. This play, we just played Mono Green Tron. Feeble tip. Sit 
this one out. I've got it. Is Kefnet the only win con without the God Eternals? Uh, not technically. I have the mass manipulations also. Yeah, I have the mass manipulations also that can take like their planeswalkers, like their Sarkin, for example. I have a plan. Or creatures if they have creatures. But yeah, but yep, relying on Kefnet here. Yeah, I think decklists should be able to come up with exclamation point deck here. Right above you there, Z-Geist. So, pretty sure our opponent has Dovin's Veto. Unfortunately, Teferi shuts down Kefnet. Its ability to cast other things. I guess so, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. It's not like I... I really want to draw... Oh, I've done the hero Kefnet with the other one, but in case one gets countered, like Disdainful Stroke or something. So this will eat the veto. Veto plus make a 1 1. I think I may have just like contempted that to fairy. I've got time. If they didn't play the Lazatep plating, but of course, with the plating, I couldn't contempt. The command did work. <laughs> Jeremiah is right. Or I guess Nerd Rage linked it right there. The command only works every... Yeah. It Whenever it... After it gets used, it stops working for a bit. Let's just get rid of that. Ugh. Oh no, I thought this Kefnet was that Kefnet. Oh man. So many Kefnets. Ugh. Gross. I should have just left the one under the prison realm. Mind and body should move, meditate, and prepare.
So many Kefnets. So little time. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Put thoughtfulness before action. Bleh. They have just a whole bunch of time walks. I'll protect you. No reason to contempt either of those planeswalkers. We're just hitting a slow death right now. I do not want to draw lands. I'm just going to destroy this. Alright, 14. Should have just left one of these cap nuts over there so we didn't draw it. But obviously, obviously I didn't know we had a, the second one. So I thought it was the second. I want to protect it against counterspell. You know, like they just absorb it or whatever. Well, that doesn't do anything. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. All right, I think our opponent's got us this game. Looks like we're going to game three. You need to slow down. Discovery would be a really good card to draw. Get some surveilling in. Pick up this campaign. Doing a whole lot of shocking over there. I'm not done yet. Don't worry. I got this. So we got a bunch of Lazatup platings over there for the discard deck. It's pretty nice. All right, let's try again on the on the play here. Saw more of their deck. Cry of the Carnarium does not look like it's anything I want. I could could unmoor. I guess I could unmoor ego. See, this, this card's just not very good against the Teferis. I guess I just unmoored Ego. I'm like two cards short of like what I would want to play. Yeah, we have Elder Spells too. I guess I'll play one, one Cry. I don't know what I'm going to unmoored Ego. I mean, they just have a ton of Planeswalkers that can kill me. It's not a, the Ego's not a good card. I hope just, I just hope not to draw it, but Cry of the Carnarium's not a good card either.
All right, play first. Just one land. Jeez. These hands have been horrible. Horrible. Well, hopefully we'll just draw... Draw some lands here. Okay. Get in there. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Just a whole bunch of lands of good mana and three spells. So jealous. Okay, but we're working our way up there. They just draw a counter spell. Boo. Responsibility. Here we go. This is hard. definitely glad they ticked up, so we got to contempt that and not them draw a card. If they would have just minus and drawn a card, would have felt kind of bad by using a contempt. Then, but they ticked up. We also drew another contempt, so it worked out well. I need to draw land, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna activate Field of Ruin. I don't want to shuffle this card back in, and I just want to draw lands, so I don't want to take a land out of my deck. Also, please tap out. Please just let me resolve Immortal Sun, please. Under Boy. my instruction, you will steer the course of destiny. Hone your control. Contempt costs two more. Because of Kasmina. Are loyal geniuses. Loyal geniuses? Is that like the high five? High five. Loyal genius. High five. I got one of those out. So the problem with <laughs> mulling to five and then trying to hit a six land drop is not easy. Not too easy at all. Well, I can cast that thing. I can't I can't cast this with Kasmina in play. Too hot. It's a little unfortunate that, that losing to Losing to this matchup that, you know, we're trying to beat with all these Immortal Suns, but our our hands games 2 and 3 were just really bad. And draws and everything. Just really, really bad. Just so clunky. Drawing every single one of our Kefnets game 2. 
and like no interaction, and then just drawing all, you know, then mulling to five, drawing all our immortal suns. It's just not really much to do. Couldn't find like a discovery or anything. Bleh. All right, new game. Hopefully we're not too slow on the draw here, but we may be. Being on the draw against Land of War Elf, turn one. You don't win very many games. So we'll see what we got here. Uh, because it's what people want to see, organic chicken. I think we will prefer to watch the ranked matches instead of the constructed events. The competition's a little higher, and so that's what people like to see. <laughs> hey, call me. Welcome to the stream. So, uh, pretty awkward, it's, which we had this Tyrant's Scorn earlier, so we can only play one thing. Use, playing Contempt uses our mana the best, but then if they have a Planeswalker, the problem, is, the problem with playing Contempt is if they have a Planeswalker, then we're going to regret using the Contempt. This is going to be pretty hard to to beat Planeswalkers anyway. The This thing with all the mana it produces is, is the better card than Hydra Crisis here. So we got Frilled Mystic too. Gross. Oh, so this is... This is the deck we played last night. Make sense? So this is the uh, Simic Yoink deck, it looks like. Oh, no, maybe not. My presence maybe alone not. will guide you towards victory. Ether itself. Yeah, maybe it is. They have Ugin too. I talked about how I wanted Ugin instead of Chemistry's Insight in that video, but it looks like they have both. Well, I can't beat that card. So 
We have to find a mortal sun, shut down the Sugin. Or just a contempt or anything like that. Secrets manifest before you. It's called Yoink because it steals it's just trying to steal all the opponent's stuff. Yeah, the Tron deck's the best of one deck because even with a sideboard because of Karn the, the Great Creator allows you to go to your sideboard and pick out cards, which is a really powerful effect in best of one. Milling myself so I can flip as Kanta next turn. I think the plan is to Ritual of Soot next turn, so just playing this, maybe they'll manipulate it. Definitely hoping for no more Frilled Mystics. And no more Planeswalkers. And also that we draw a mortal sun. If we draw a mortal sun, we have a chance because they can't steal a mortal sun. And they can't activate Ugin anymore. Sun, immortal sun. If I could, if I could only just get rid of this last card in hand, I could dispersal the Ugin. Hmm. They just didn't have that last card in hand. I guess I'm just gonna play Kefnet. Now let's let's just see what we get here. Tyrant scorn and island. No, no. Ugh. I really don't want them to steal Kefnet. Okay, okay. This can work. So next turn I can have campaign. So I have to deal with a whole bunch of creatures in play. But I can at least I can at least get, get rid of the Ugin now. I can campaign and then dispersal. But then we have to figure out how to deal with 
Okay, we don't even have to campaign first. Perfect. All right, it's sorry, it's froze, freezing up. Come on. Okay, I think it's good again. I'm going, I'm blocking the card that they chose second. Because I'm assuming the card they clicked first was the more important card. That was my assumption there. That was a good one too, though. The land shall conquer you. Zero Immortal Sons. Still, halfway through the deck. <sighs> Just want to find one. I think I should... Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Ugh. Okay, it was going to be a land also. All they have to do is just activate Nissa, swing out. It's lethal. Just all lands there. Big land pocket. Yeah, well. Must be nice. Alright, get the third one of these in. Definitely ego. I guess I just try to steal back. I mean, is everything good? Everything's just good against them. I'm not gonna ego. Like, maybe I don't want ego. All right, off you go. Off you go, ego. I guess I just rely on Cry the Carnarium and Ritual of Sit to like clean up the mana creatures for the most part. I don't have room for everything. So what's seven more cards? Um, I guess Duress. We'll just have Thought Erasure Campaign. Yeah, I ran out of time, so I just got rid of Negate and Ascanta. Getting rid of Ascanta doesn't feel right whatsoever, but I ran out of time. All right, Erasure Campaign. <laughs> yeah, we have three Immortal Sons. Uh, our, our opponent's playing the... They're playing Simic Yoink. They're just trying to steal all the stuff. But Planeswalkers are like how they win for the most part also. 
Carnage Tyrant? Carnage Tyrant? That's gonna be a problem. So can they play Vivian next turn? Yeah, they can. All right, so I need to just play this. Could have gone Discovery and look for a land drop and then play it, but that's just kind of risky. If we don't hit the land drop, then the Vivian just comes into play. Doesn't, yeah, we were not going to hit the land drop. Also, please don't have a Carnage Tyrant. And me, please draw some lands here. Probably be casting Discovery plus Cry this turn. I got. Yeah, let's just still keep the other swamp. They probably have a steel card over there. They're not playing anything, or do they just have another filled mystic? That was their top deck. All right, well, we'll try cry the Carnarium again next turn, I guess. We'll have campaign first. Down to five. They can only tick I up though. So much already. And you can't I guess we can't really nature. campaign away the card that they get though. Right now. But we'll be able to play Immortal Sun. Just Okay, good. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Everything's good. Yeah, I'll probably be updating Grixis Discard. Um, you know, if, if the two colors here doesn't work, maybe going Grixis with campaign kind of stuff. What do I want this Blast Zone on, numbers-wise? Four? Two? Definitely at least two. The crisis also. 
Hey, what's up, Weighty Cakes? Thanks for the sub there. The white, blue, black, multicolor deck? You're talking about like Esper Hero? Um, no, I want to keep this card. Let's just manipulate ourselves. I want to keep this card because if I play a creature that they, you know, if I have, if I find my Kef net and they steal my Kef net, I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to bounce, bounce my Kef net. All right, I'll just play this thing now. The one with the Dovin. Yeah, so maybe maybe Esper Legends. Which that one's pretty nice. Ah, six for Tyrant. Good call. That's what I should be doing with the Blast Zone. Six for Tyrant. Good call. Of course, if they play a Tyrant, we can see that and then put a bunch of counters on this, though, also. I guess I'll just, I'll just leave it there. Go, Druid, go. No Kefnets around over here this this game. Oh, that's true. Six would kill Immortal Sun also, wouldn't it? Dang. We were so close. There's a calf net. Seed. Yeah, dispersal answers tyrant too. That's a good point. Ugh. Never easy. All right, now these campaigns can do stuff. We're trying to beat the Yoink deck by Yoinking them back. I don't really want to show them a second Immortal Sun, honestly. And I am just keeping, I'm basically keeping all these cards on top because of decking <laughs> considerations. All right, they get one more draw. Hopefully 
Hopefully not another Yoink spell. I don't really want to show them that we have a second Immortals on it. I want them to think that we got lucky with that. I don't really want to show them any of these. Honestly. I don't want to show them. I don't want to show them Elder Spell, either. All right, maybe one Elder Spell, one as Kanta. Should probably play both these as Kantas. I could probably get rid of a Cry of the Carnarium, actually. Yeah. Oh, those cries were pretty clutch. Killing those three twos earlier. Alright, one ritual is set out. Playing one as Kanta and one Tyrant Scorn out. Hey, what's up, DJ Polly B? That's a mulligan. What? what is this? What is this? I don't want to go to five. We haven't had good luck on five recently. Last time we had a six card hand, we had we had four islands. This time we have three swamps. What is this? <laughs> Alright, so what I put down there in a the gate? <clears throat> Discovery is good. I want to try to just, I really want to try to just top deck this blue source here and, and be able to play Kefnet though. So I'm taking Kasmina so that like my Contempt doesn't cost millions of mana. Hmm. Not blue source. Why did they play Krasis there? Like why not just draw two with Insight? Like why? Why is Krasis the play? All right, so not playing Nissa. Guessing that last card is Frilled Mystic then. They're highlighting their last card quite a bit here. No, I just play my card. I don't let them just Chemisters in sight. Please don't be Frilled Mystic, just let it resolve.
The blue source came a turn too late. Got to Frilled Mystic. Now they have all this junk. Together, we will prevail. Harness the elements. Well, I could have been able to Chemistry's Insight this turn, too. It's not bad. Because that doesn't kill Frilled Mystic, does it? Come on. I guess I mean I guess that means we have to ritual sit instead of cry the carnarium here. Really? Why would you don't don't tap both of my blue sources? Are you kidding me? What are you doing here, deck? I wanna auto tap both of my blue sources when I have this thought erasure in my hand? Oh, because they want me to cast Cry the Carnarium also. I guess we could have cast both. But no, I want a Thought Erasure and take one of these whatever is in their hand. Really? Ugh, nothing's going right! Ugh. R means it's a, it's a ranked match. Yeah, lots of Nissa's, Nissa decks. This is good. I guess my... <laughs> the deck was trying to tell me to play the Cry of the Carnarium and not the Thought Erasure. It was trying. Jeez. Not a bad draw. Alright, one and one. We're going to play one more match here tonight. It's getting pretty late with us with how we had the mix-up with Mono White Angels earlier. Um, so it's getting kind of late here. So we're going to play the rubber match here. See who takes it. See if we go two and one or if we are one and two. Yeah, they knew. The auto, auto tab knew that I should have been playing the cry of the carnarium there. Turns out we would have lost even if I played cry though because we were not going to, with what we had there, we were not going to be beating the, uh, Whatever it's called. <clears throat> the Hydro Crisis off the top. I should just be playing Blast Zone there. Abzan, huh? Right, get a land. Okay, it says Dreadhorde deck. Get a land. Good. I got a land. They're both 3 twos. Thankfully. Not really any upside in waiting. No time. This isn't a fight you can win. So Ritual so would be a really good card to draw. Uh, we'll have like this Blast Zone be on two next turn. Really hoping no... 
No explore creature for a turn. Hope you're ready. So I need three mana. Put one charge counter on that. And now it's the look for Kefnet game. That's our that's our game right now. Oh, now I don't have Tyrant Scorn up. That's unfortunate. I did get rid of a bunch of BBD's lands here. I don't have anything that costs two, right? Yeah. Attack. <laughs> yeah, his immortal son is clutch. This this four color command deck, you know, relies on like the planeswalkers for all the interaction. So having a mortal sun just shuts it down. So what once you have a mortal sun, you just have to deal with the explore stuff. Uh, looks like they got to command the dread horde. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess I could have not milled them and just let them have the Jade Light there. If I had one... Ugh. If I had that extra mana... I could have Tyrant scorned one of these, at least. All right, so back up to 28. All right, got to find our Kefnet. That was a really bad attack. Uh, 
That's a really bad attack. Yeah, that, that was an awful attack. They draw another Command the Dread Horde? No, please not. I was trying to mill those Command the Dread Hordes. I was trying to mill them over. That was an awful attack I had a little bit ago. Talk. That attack's gonna cost me this. Well, that and them um, drawing those commands. But that was my fault. Alright, we need ritual set. Dead, can you bail us out? So we have two soots in here. So right now we're looking like for for the two soots. The extra cry of the carnarium would be nice. Yeah, two soots and a cry of the carnarium. Okay. There's one soot. We haven't seen any of our kefnets yet. We'll hopefully get there with the kefnet soon. So right now I need to, basically I want, I'm basically looking for our opponent to mill out before us, I guess. 48 is going to be tough to kill from 22-22 right now. So keeping everything on top. There's three Kefnets in the list. Yeah, I, I messed this up so bad with that attack with the 9-9. I guess I would have got Ritual set it away. Those Wild Breath Walkers gained so much life, though. Wherever I go, ready to join them. If I make them discard, I have to I have to draw, and I don't really want to draw a card. Perfect, absolute perfect card. Is that the last command? One, two, three, four. Yes, they're out of commands. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you.
Has been a pretty laggy stream today. So I'm at 16 cards in library. BBD's at seven. So even drawing to a, to a turn, that's eight turns. We got that covered. Always reveal. Now, now all the command the dread hordes are, are gone. So we got to keep exiling the wild growth walkers. I think I want to unmoored ego wild growth walker. That seems like something fun to do. Mm. Little Teferi means I don't want to play Negate. I don't think, I don't know if Enter the God Eternals is actually going to be that great for me. I mean, it, it kind of is. I do need to kill my opponent. This is 66. I have like way too many cards for this matchup. Do I just get rid of campaigns? Maybe I just don't play Disinformation Campaign? I guess. So yeah, because of Little Teferi, I don't really want to negate. Because then if they if they have Little Teferi out, then the gate doesn't do anything. Just want to have like all my spells be able to be proactive. I don't want to get locked out of anything. A bunch of annoying stuff to deal with. Um. Ow, ow. All right, get those things out of here. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. The past. 
never forgotten. All right, Kefnet, that was a good draw. Can pressure this Tamio. And good match, Hawkeye. Okay? And a good match. Seek and find. So you could see how important that BBD thinks the the Brontodon is by returning the Brontodon because of Immortal Sun. Wants to make sure to have an answer Focus. for it. I have just the trick for this. That's annoying. Could use that elder spell. Too involved with my work. So probably so probably just playing the Golgari Queen, kill the Ascanta, then I kill the Golgari Queen. But not you know, like we're ahead here, and even though I'm sacrificing the Ascanta, like basically trading Ascanta for Golgari Queen and, it, and an attack, the uh, the Golgari Queen's not going to draw any cards. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Yeah, so Bronzadon's just chilling over there to deal with Immortal Sun. No, Sneaky Pepper. Ugh, I'm not. Always reveal. Even against a world champion. Just <laughs> it's not it's not honestly, this is not a good idea of just always revealing. But it's what I'm doing. Why do I reveal? Because it's good luck. See? We reveal every time and you win. It's good luck. Good job, Hawkeye. If you reveal every time, you win. GG's. All right, so a good solid 2-1 here for Demir Control. 
I know we're only playing the three matches tonight, uh, with it being a little late. We had a, a, a mess up with the mono white angels. We were in game number, we were in match number three. We were up a game and ahead in game two. We were going to be winning it. We were going to be going to two and one. Um, but then like the internet like cut out and I had to reset the stream and it kicked me out of the match and I had to stop recording. And so that's why the mono white angels isn't getting uploaded to YouTube, but that's why we have like the, the five decks here. But anyway, uh, yeah, so Demir Control is pretty sweet. As you can tell, so you saw like the power of Immortal Stone that first game and that that deck that BBD was playing there, the command, the four color command, which you can see, um, you can see that deck in the YouTube channel, played it two days ago. If you click over to the previous video, you can check it out. It is really strong and I think it's, and it's really popular these days and just Planeswalkers in general are, are really popular. Uh, that that deck is built around all the, it's built around the, those Teferis and Tamios and little Vraska and bringing them back and everything, having the Planeswalkers with all the interaction. And that's why I wanted to make an Immortal Sun deck. And this worked out pretty well for an Immortal Sun deck, I'd have to say. Played pretty well. 2-1, we had a, a close loss there. Um, but yeah, this deck was pretty sweet. Liked it. All right, uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Demir Control here. Hey, Sneaky Pepper. Thanks for gifting a couple subs to Goldstaff and Alizona's Santa Sneaky Pepper. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Is there a version of that previous deck that's not four colors? Not really, because uh, it's... It plays the Explore Package plus um, Command the Dread Horde, which is black. So that's green and black. And then plus the Teferis, which are blue and white. So, yeah, there's not really one without those. Uh, anyway, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the Like button. Please hit the Subscribe button. Uh, thank you so much for watching again. And